Hi, welcome to my channel about the MIRT systems, robotics and physiotonic. The focus of this video is my walking robot MIRT 2 based on the TXT controller from physiotonic and the whole robot is made of physiotonic. Controller running on Linux, programmed in Python and controlled via Wi-Fi by a laptop running Linux. Last time you could see that the robot had to be placed in a strong direction that way and then it turns like this finding or trying to find a nice a nice uh, course to that uh, to those objects uh, eventually working it out but I want to know why it has such a stronger uh, version to the left so that's one thing another thing if possible this time also a further analysis uh, of the images taken by the camera. So in order to do all that I will power up the toner and switch to screencast. With five windows top left is on the controller, on the TXT controller showing the source code. Uh, top middle is Robot Pro uh, for checking primarily and uh, then top right is also on the controller but for executing the code then bottom right is on the laptop where I can show with this command um, the images that I copy from the controller to the laptop and no need to introduce the other remaining um, window so let's first check everything that's in here. Five and seven. And they've been going around because they are no longer nine volts, but that's okay with me. Well, that means that I'm going to run. And let's see whatever happens. If anything happens, because that's always the question. So far so good. Desired speed, sure. And that is disappointing. Yes, it is copying the images it takes, but it doesn't really walk. Those images will of course be the same, but I'm going to cut it short. Well, no need to cut it short anyway. Let's visit um, an image. Paste. Ampersand. And that's an image. And the same thing with the result. Kind of okay, I'm not too, much, uh, too impressed. But the question is why doesn't it walk? So, let's visit every connection that I can see. And minding that the battery packs don't go away. Ah, that's a reason, oh no, that's not a reason. All connections are there except for this one. Here is a problem. Bottom uh, right one of the uh, gears is not aligned. I have to check that. I have to change that. And that is probably why, it, um, why nothing works. So having a look again it is this gear here on this side and it has everything to do with the frame so pushing the frame inside should have a good effect on it 
and now it is aligned again here here aligned here aligned here and here so that means I should be good to go let's see what the difference is That's a big difference and immediately an alignment or a deviation to the left. And right, that's about it. Checking the last image. Which is this one. Which makes me curious for this one, by the way. Yeah, that explains it. All right. Um, good enough for me, except for the deviation to the left. Still happens. It does walk, but why that way? Also, um, recently I tried to add an LED to show um, the actual connection time or connection moment that the front sensor reaches an object fail to do so probably lack uh, probably because of the type of the whole system with the txt controller mm -hmm. I'm not quite sure but anyway I have to do it visually or with the uh, data file which I'll check now the data file and there should be a moment that the data file says yes I am uh, detecting something but I don't see anything well it certainly did touch well there's no touching now but if I move it the way it did it should uh, detect something. Yes, I3 is detected now. And moving backwards, uh, it's gone. So it is only a moment in time that it can detect something whenever, it, whenever something is there to detect. So how to make sure that you can see it? That's still the question since the mentioned LED doesn't do it. Time to review the code once again. And that uh, gives first some, well, definitions about what to be used. TXT and F2, F2 for uh, opening the data file, for the data, obviously. Then camera action, uh, nothing wrong with that. And here's the color dimensions um, and the files being determined or set. Then sensor action for the front sensors. Start camera. And here's something that I have commented out, which is the lamp, which used to be there, but I can't use it anymore because I have now four motors and a lamp, as you can see from the test interface uh, O1 is output 1 and there are 8 outputs so I have now 4 motors which brings the possible outputs for an extra lamp to 0 and these are all digital inputs and input is not an output I don't have an extension so 
um, that is exit lamps or LEDs or whatever. Motor initialization. Uh, I tried to get them synchronized. That uh, didn't work. And if you want to see the result of that, um, see previous videos. Then starting the counter, uh, setting the speed. Uh, this also uh, was something that didn't work out very well in the beginning. Measuring the distance, very important for this type of motor being used. Then accus accuspanning, which is battery voltage in Dutch. And that is all there is in data. And how much time do you use? That's a good question. Set distance. It's set here to 3350. And the question is how much could you use? Because this is the time or the distance that the motor. Uh, that not the robot is walking, but the uh, pulse motor, the uh, that the motors are running, number of pulses, number of yeah. I can change that so it does run longer, but considering the fact that I also want to touch something, is quite limited in this case. Still, I haven't found out why the deviation to the left is. Can I find out? Not quite sure. I can try another um, run um, with a much larger distance. Let me try that one then. Setting it to 4000. And see whatever happens. What's the battery voltage that I have left? Alright, that is not very much. Under 8000 it uh, just finishes. So let's go. So putting the robot right here and see whatever comes of it. If something comes of it, that is. Now let's make it 500. You immediately see a big deviation to the left, and that's a possible cause. So I'll do it again and leave it like this. So, to show the camera, this leg uh, was kept back by these layers of cloth. And so now I've taken back the cloth. Let's see what ever happened this time. And it doesn't even reach the object. No. So, 
getting closer. Right here. And I'll move the camera. You can see how this sensor is touching. So they should be good. And yes, front sensor 2 is being detected clearly right here. So that's a nice ending. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, please do subscribe to my channel, give the video a thumbs up. Leave a comment or suggestion, click the bell for notification. You can support via PayPal, Ko-fi and by becoming a patron. Um, please take a look at my website for uh, further information on this project and other fish technique projects, also embedded systems projects. Um, you can follow me also via uh, Twitter and Instagram. Um, this is going to be continued. Stay safe, have a great day, take care, bye.